you are all welcome to this video. In the previous video, we solved an example based on the surface area of the cube. Today, in this video, we will see some fun concepts based on it. Thomas, you have decorated this box with such beautiful paper. Yes, I first found the lateral surface area of this cubic box and then I cut the paper of that area and decorated the box. Friends, if the length of the side of Thomas's box is 12 centimeters, can you find the lateral surface area of this box? You may pause the video to try it yourself and then match your answer. Oh wow guys, your answer is absolutely correct. The lateral surface area of Thomas's cubic box is 4 times the square of the length, 4 times the square of 12, meaning 576 square centimeters. Thomas, do you know that instead of covering the specific sides of the box, we can also decorate it by changing the orientation of the box and use the same paper. And we won't even need more paper. How is that possible? Let me explain this to you through mathematics. It's math time! Look Thomas, right now the orientation of your box is like this. If I rotate it like this, the orientation of your box has changed. Don't you agree? Yes. Now, can you find the lateral surface area of this cubic box? Yes, of course. All these faces are square and also congruent. This means that even in this orientation, the lateral surface area of the box will be 4L square, where L is the length of the sides of the box. And the sides of the box are 12 centimeters in length. This means that even in this orientation of the box, its lateral surface area will still be exactly 576 square centimeters. <laughs> now do you believe me, Thomas? Yes, Manas. Now I get your point that the lateral surface area of the cube remains exactly the same even if its orientation changes. <laughs> Better late than never. Now let us return to our world. In order to explain it better to him, Thomas decided to gift that box to Manas. Friends, in this video, we saw a fun concept based on the surface area of a cube. So hopefully you will have a good understanding about the surface area of a cube. 